children, Lord, even though we sometimes don't understand that you're leading, guiding, you're going before us, and you're moving in our lives for your glory, Lord. And blessed is the man who trusted in the Lord. Great God, Jehovah. Jesus, the Son of God, and God the Son, my Savior, oh, how can I repay you, Lord, but just worship you. And praise and proclaim your name that you rule and you reign, Lord, at the right hand of the living God. You died for us, and it's your blood that sets us free. Covers, protects, and heals. It destroys evil. And it moves in our lives. I don't know where I'd be without you. I don't want to know, Lord. I don't want to know. I love you, God, Holy Spirit, don't ever leave me, fill me up again, I need you every second and hour of this life. I can't make it on my own. I give you praise, eternal God, 
Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, forever. And glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, forever and ever and ever. Amalaboko se malama yelagalo se malama na bosa. I I give you praise. Oh hallelujah! Welcome to today's broadcast. This is Apostle Dr. Esther Joy. A willing vessel poured out for the Father, for the Son, for the Holy Spirit. I tell you, the Living God, and I am drunk on new wine of the Holy Spirit moving in me, moving in my life. I tell you, I can't get enough of praising and worshiping, entering in. Oh, how I love him. Even when he broke me to cleanse me, I loved him. I loved the stroke. I loved everything he have done for me. I take all of my say, ha. It cost you for a relationship with this Almighty, this glorious one, this life giver, somebody, and there is no life apart from him. For everything good comes from him. The breath in our body is because of him allowing us to live, and no man can keep their own soul alive. It is written, but life comes from the Father. Who breathe life and are most sicky, and who has the keys to it all? I tell you, we owe him worship, and it, and to live for him. How y'all doing on today? You better be excited. I tell you, I don't care what the news is reporting. I'm so glad that I heard from the Father. So glad that he told me, lift your head up, for this is the time for the Lord to move in the lives of those who are His, those who have been waiting and diligently moving forward in faith. Hallelujah! Say, coming and seeking the Lord anyhow, no matter what the report, no matter what the shutdown and all this, that, and the other going on. You know, enemy will always try to thwart and distract us. The strong man of distraction. Coming in to distort you and get you to thinking this, that, and the other, and focusing on the news, focusing on this, that, and the other. Yes, we need to be diligent. We need to practice safety and protection. I wouldn't tell you not to. Glory to God. But God is God, and I doubt they can't say, and we can't take our eyes off of Him. What I will say, for He is speaking movement into new land, movement into the place. He is speaking that all things are working together for the good of those that love Him. Jeremiah says, "Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord, and in whose God, in God whose hope is in Him." My God, my God, and I tell you. I I am excited about every move. My goodness, son, I will say, for behind the scenes and the spirit is busy, and the Lord and His angels are preparing some wonderful things that are going to spring forth. I heard the Lord just then. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And now it shall spring forth. Destiny, purpose. Promotions and new levels, glorious marriages, divine connections. It can I say health and healings? My God, as as soon as as we turn, say of the Lord, one thing, then another one, then they can say breakthrough after breakthrough after breakthrough. Suddenly, of God, my goodness, miracles are abounding. The yes, even in this time of what the world says is a 
crisis, the Lord uses this hour to show his glory. And we're moving with such momentum in the spirit. And I say that it's going to even blow the mind of God's people who know him. Say, God, is this real? Is this you? Because God says, truly, I tell you, you're going to witness increase on every level. For I am the God who comforts my people and increase them. It is written. And the Lord took me to this word in Deuteronomy chapter 8. And you know that scripture, that that chapter is a powerful word of the testimony of how he kept us in that terrible wilderness. How he fed us when we did not know how we was going to eat this, that, and the other. What we going to do now, God? And God showed up and showed out and kept our souls alive. Whatever I say, with the hidden manna that our fathers did not even know. And the Lord came through if he brought sent somebody with a bag of groceries or told they got I won't say or talk to someone about you and did this and that the other put you in the right place at the right time the Lord said if I could do that if I kept you alive where there was fiery scorpions and serpents how much greater do you think I can take you all the way place you in the place of the blessing of the land that I promised your forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I'm a covenant God. My righteousness is of those who are with me. God says, you are going to witness him in a greater way, in a greater capacity. He says in Deuteronomy chapter 8, And let's go verses 7. For the Lord thy God bringeth thee into a good land. Somebody say, bringeth me into a good land. That that's come on some now. You better do you understand the supernatural meaning, the power behind these words he's speaking about right now to those you and, and, and I'm not talking to them. This this word is for those who have proven who have been proven. He says, Thy God bringeth thee into the land, a good land, a land of brooks, of water, of fountains, and depths that spring out of valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley and vines, fig trees and pomegranates, a land of oil, olive oil, and honey, a land wherein thou shalt eat bread without scarceness, and thou shalt not lack anything in it, a land whose stones are iron, and out of whose hills thou mayest dig grass. And when thou hast eaten and art full, then thou shalt bless the Lord thy God for the good land which he has given thee. The other side, the next town over, where the people are blessed, It is written in the Psalms that the righteous would surround us about for God would deal bountifully with us. Another set of people who don't want anything from you, who already have their own things. They have no motive. They have no need to try to steal, kill, or destroy, or come after you. The Lord says, I am going to push you in a good land, me in a good land, me and my husband and children, grandchildren, in a good land, a land that we have not known. We only roll through and just wish and say, wow, why are they so blessed? But the Lord says, get ready. And I both say, you who have faith to move forward with me, that trust in me, that I'm going to place you in a place that you thought you could not live, in another apartment, not just any old uh, this this, that, and the other place, but a place where the old, the, the well to do live. And I must say, a new address where it's for the high and the mighty, they would say on the earth. Hallelujah. A good land. And I must say, where there's no scarcity, where there's no lack, where you don't need assistance, where you are going to flourish, bloom, be established, and settled, and grow in the Lord. And Nasanda, be blessed to be a blessing. The Lord 
Lord is opening up that road right now. I see a road and I see it clear. And I see it like I both say. I tell you, keep your hat on. You ain't going to be able to know how in the world did we do what we're doing except by the power of God that's moving through the spirit realm and moving the hearts of others and even dispatching angels appearing as humans to bring everything that we're going to need. And he says, let's go over to chapter 9. This is, Deut- this is Deuteronomy 9, and let's go to 3. God says, understand therefore this day. This day, we're talking right now, that the Lord thy God is he which goeth over before thee as a consuming fire, and he shall destroy every obstacle. This is the people that which are in the way. I'm going to go back to, I'm going to backtrack now. Deuteronomy chapter 9. Let's go to 1. Hear, O Israel, that is us of today, that are to pass over Jordan this day. Come on, we're right up on what he's doing. I want you to read that I say, we're right in the now of God. To go in to possess nations greater and mightier than thyself, cities great and fenced up to heaven. My goodness, a people great and tall, children of the Anakims, whom thou knowest and of whom thou hast heard say, Who can stand before the children of Anak? Understand before this day that the Lord thy God is he which goeth over before thee. I want you to know that God said he has gone before us to make the crooked places straight. Mapping out a territory for each and every one of us, no matter what part of the world you are, if you are his, you're coming out. And I see people coming from other lands, coming into the great country of America, finally, where they will be free. And I see the Lord moving in other countries. Of those who rightfully love him, who God will say, God says, this is repayment for everything that you have ever went through for him, for his sake, how you suffered for the gospel, suffered ridicule, the persecution and everything. I'm going to make it up. I'm going to shine your life. And I say, with a a glimmer of light. He's going to say, he says, arise and shine for the light of the Lord has come and the glory of the Lord have risen upon us. God says, I'm doing it in the midst of chaos and everybody out of panic and about Corona. But the Lord says, they will wonder why are the people of God so blessed. And the Lord says, I'm taking away the dull drums of your former sins and your past life, cutting the cords of those and that which had you bound, say of the Lord. And I am commanding Shake I heard the word squeaky clean, and I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you with everything that I've got and everything you need, for I am redeeming you and bringing you back into my fold, into my kingdom, and therefore reward is at hand. The blessings of Abraham that were bound, that were hidden, that that avoided my people shall be loosed in this time. My angelic assistance, my spirit, it is pouring out, and I'm taking you to that good place, to that good land where there is plenty, where there is milk and honey. And from there, you and I will go forward into the things of destiny. And I will give peace in your land and none will make you afraid. God says, get ready for what's about to happen where we stand. In the place where we are, there shall be a parting of the sea. Even human spirits on every side that the enemy has been using. God says, watch him do it. A good land. The Lord says, a good land, a good land. 
Oh, blessed be his name, somebody. I seal this word up inside of the blood of the Lamb in the walls of fire of the Holy Ghost in the name and the blood of Jesus covering my life, my home, our blessings, our forward movement, my children, grandchildren, kingdom power ministries, church, and our faithful and righteous active our partners, our righteous subscribers and all those who come in and praying for us and all our prayer teams and our team our flock all over the world with the power of God and the blood of the Lamb for divine takeover loosening the arrows of God into our very existence for the power of God to move in the mighty name and the blood of Jesus glory to God and I give him the praise and the honor and the glory I can't wait to see how he does this but I stand in awe and I'm ready I know you are too like and subscribe if you will glory to God and those of you who want to partner with us or sow a seed into the growth of this ministry to help us glory to God take the gospel and the truth of God his praise and worship all over the world through books through media through uh, uh, television media or under the Bose, ta, through the YouTube hallelujah Facebook all social media glory to God just penetrating the airways with his glory oh hallelujah help us if you will Go to www.kingdompowerministriesintl.com. You can click uh, um, uh, become a partner and fill out all the information. All the information, even if you got to fill it out in the comment section, I would appreciate that so that the address is current and correct. You don't want this membership package to come back. When you fill out for membership, you must sow a first seed. Also, uh, you can f- sow a a donation of any amount, glory to God, to help us through the building fund, the ministry fund, the media uh, fund, everything. Hallelujah! Shake it costs money in ministry, and God will uh, 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 say, uh, credit it to your account. We pray over every seed and get many testimonies. Glory to God. Go to www.kingdompowerministries.intl.com. You can sow at donations uh, link. Click and just click whatever avenue. PayPal, donate button. It's international. It's also um, uh, Giblify. It's only in America. They are reputable church giving app. We love them. And also there is Cash App. And also you can write to us. As many as our loved ones are doing that. Kingdom Power Ministries. I-N-T-L dot church. Post Office Box 381. 034 Clinton Township, Michigan 48038 Get ready somebody I see keys leases, mortgages I see mortgages being paid off, debts being cleared I just see God moving in a financial win Marco Seca and I see all kinds of miracles in how we acquire what he wants us to have The favor of the Lord wraps the righteous like a shield. I can't wait to hear the testimonies. We love y'all here at Kingdom Power Ministries, INTL.com. Shalom.